Axia Mission 2 is headed to the International Space Station this May, and it will have the first female commander of a private space mission. Joining us now is America's most experienced astronaut, Peggy Whitson, who will be that commander. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. I know you're pretty busy right now. Yeah, we're getting into the final training flow, so it's, it's pretty packed schedule-wise. So you're the first woman to command a private space mission. The first woman to command uh, their space travel is still a very male dominated field. What do you have to say to young women who want to follow in your footsteps? Well, I, I feel like my biggest success story has just been being the best at whatever I try and do, working the hardest. Um, you know, I, I would I always say I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, or sharpest tool in the shed, but uh, I, I do get the job done. And so I really do believe hard work and effort can pay off and be something that will reward you in the end. So this is going to be a hard question to answer. I'm going to give you about 20 minutes to go over it here. But you're America's most experienced astronaut. What are some of the other things that you accomplished while you worked at NASA? Uh, in addition to having a, a great year, 22 years as an astronaut, I was the chief of the astronaut office, the first female and non-military chief uh, astronaut. I also was the deputy division chief for um, the medical sciences division before I was selected as an astronaut. And as in that role, I uh, was the co-chair of a U.S.-Russian science working group. So I, I have done a lot of work with international partners. What made you want to become an astronaut? Actually, I was uh, nine years old when I saw Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon, and I wanted, thought it looked like the coolest job in the world, <laughs> or off, on or off the planet, and I wanted to try and do it. Uh, of course, I was a farm kid, and uh, you know, and a woman, and they didn't have female astronauts, and so it wasn't until the first female astronauts were selected the same year I graduated from high school. So it became a, a big motivator and incentive to me. It changed my dream of being an astronaut into a goal. Um, so that's when I think uh, my mindset about becoming an astronaut changed. So what are the goals of the upcoming Axiom 2 mission? I want to go over a little bit more about that. So we are doing a number of different scientific investigations. So everything from stem cells to tissue regeneration and growth, uh, different RNA studies. Um, and on top of that, we're also looking at uh, um, modifying um, uh, different types of hardware and testing it so that we can test what we would like to put on our Axiom station, which we hope to have the first module up in late 2025. So you've commanded the International Space Station, I believe, twice now. How is that different from commanding a flight? Well, this is the first time I've been commander of the launch and landing vehicle. Uh, and it's interesting to me also because I'm commander of the Dragon vehicle, which I'd never flown in before. So my launches previously were on a shuttle and on a, a Soyuz spacecraft. And so this, this time in the Dragon um, I guess it's a, a little additional responsibility uh, and to add on to the respon uh, normal responsibility of being a commander on the vehicle. That's got to be so exciting. How excited are you right now on a scale of like 1 to 10? Well, I would say, you know, it's still a few weeks away and I've got a lot of training left to do. So several more boxes to check. So I put it around a 5. All right. I was hoping you'd say 11. <laughs> the well, the yeah the, answer that, that you normally get. Launch day. <laughs> awesome. All right. Anything else that you want to add before I let you go? Well, I just think uh, it's really important that space is changing, and being a part of this change to commercialize space is what's really exciting to me, and part of what has drawn me back uh, to going into space again. So I, I hope young people out there recognize that. There's going to be loads and loads of opportunities in all different kinds of fields for them in science and technology, engineering. And so I'm looking forward to seeing more and more people be excited about space. All right. Well, if you're looking for another passenger, I volunteer.
Okay, great. <laughs>